and we are loving every minute of it. Know what else I love? Our monster matchup. This week, a top five showdown in Class C1. Ron Colley at Ashland Greenwood. Our Ellie French made the drive to Memorial Stadium and has the full story from Ashland. This matchup started to feel a little bit like an Iowa football game, just not able to get anything going offensively. But it didn't matter because in the second half, the defense of one of these teams coming up clutch, making the play of the game to seal the victory. Second possession for the Blue Jays, and they reach into their bag of tricks. The reverse It's Derek Tonjays. He's going to hit Leighton West on the 58 yard strike. Ashland Greenwood takes an early 7-0 lead. Start of the second quarter, Ron Colley in the red zone. Brady McGill finds Wyatt Letter for a few yards on the ground, but Crimson Pride not able to find the end zone on the drive, so they settle for the short field goal from McGill to trail 7-3. That would be the score at halftime. Midway through the third, Ron Colley finally able to find the end zone. Quick pitch to Wyatt Letter, who takes it to the house. Ron Colley goes up 9-7. Midway through the fourth quarter, Blue Jays with a strike through the air. It's Dane Jacobson, and he is going to hit Isaac Carson, who takes it in for the touchdown. Blue Jays take a 13-9 lead with under eight to play. Skip ahead to the final seconds of this game. Ron Colley trying to make something happen on offense, but Brady McGill taken down for the sack. And that's how this one would end. 13 to 9 the final. We battled so hard through adversity. We played, we played on their half of the field all night, and our guys just didn't give up. And uh, it's pretty special. Our defense is has played so good like my whole four years, three years of being here. It's just crazy. And 13 to 9 against Ron Colley, it's cool. It's just crazy. A gritty win by the Blue Jays, who improved to 7-1 on the season. Next week, their regular season finale going to be a tough one as they travel to Platteview, hoping to only end the regular season with one loss. At Memorial Stadium in Ashland, Ellie French, KTV News Watch 7 Sports. Thank you, Ellie. So far this year, Bennington has taken every team's best shot and handled it with ease. The defending Class B champs have continued their dominant run this season. The Badgers with a 20-game winning streak, a chance to make it 21 at Elkhorn North earlier today. The Wolves and Badgers meeting in a Friday matinee at Elkhorn Stadium. The road team up seven, bad snap here, but nice recovery from Trey Bird, and he makes something happen. Finds Nick Colbert, and the senior rumbles in for the score. Bennington dominated all game long. Colbert again this time takes the handoff and works his way in for the score. Badgers win their 21st in a row fittingly with a 21-7 win. Down the road at Burke Stadium, Blair bouncing back against Westview. Bears get the scoring started on the first play from scrimmage. The screen to Ethan Bassler and nobody is touching him. The junior turns on the afterburners to give the Bears a quick lead. Next player drive, the swing pass to Ben Holcomb, and he's going to fight his way into the end zone for six. Blair back to winning, way, winning ways. They take care of Westview, 49-13. Back to Class C1, Platteview marching into Boys Town. Second quarter, Cowboys up one. Senior quarterback Jared Cool calling his own number. That's pretty cool. Gives the Trojans a 2014 lead. Third quarter, same score. Ethan Golda taking the pitch, and he's good as gold. Wins the race to the corner and in for six. Platinum too much in this one. Reed Patera slipped his way in for the score. Trojans win a close one, 34-27. Across the river, Thomas Jefferson looking for their first win of the season against Glenwood. But this one, all Rams. On third and 17, Caden Anderson goes long to Peyton Longmire. 69-yard house call for number seven. 7-0 Glenwood. That duo was just getting started this time. They connect from 13 yards out to make it 21-0 in the first. Rams go on to route the Jackets 69-7.